Hey everybody, what's up? This is Hold the Truth Hostage, where if the truth was so important, we wouldn't negotiate with lies. Now, I just want to thank everybody. I want to thank Coach Greg Adams for showing me some love and much respect. You know what I mean? It's always good to, you know what I'm saying, re re you know, to re receive some, you know, admiration and respect for from someone you look up to, you know what I'm saying, that he was, he got you into it, you know, he did a lot, you know, so he inspired me to do this, as well as, uh, you know, some, my boy C1, you know what I mean, uh, now, this video, this video right here, is probably gonna, gonna hurt some of you guys, it's gonna harm some of you guys, um, confidence, because what I'm about to expose and what I'm about to talk about will truly change your entire perception on everything, you know? This video is basically entitled, Why? Basically, there's no such thing as an alpha male. Now... A lot of videos you watch, they speak about you being an alpha male, you being a beta male, you know, all this and that. But, you know, that's that's on the surface and that's a level of denial. You know, a lot of a lot of men who make the videos, you know, it's it's a level, you know, what I mean, you got to look deeper than the surface. Now, the reason I say there's no such thing as an alpha male is that the government has intervened the government has stepped in and the government has stepped in to the point with um no fault divorce with uh how child support is regulated the family court which doesn't operate on you know a level of uh the regular legalities you know basically the government has intercepted and come into, you know, the, 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 is come into where it was only a male space. A lot of, a lot of guys in the red pill like to talk about, you know, women coming into a male space and so on. But here's the thing. The government was the first one to come into a male space. The government has done far more damage to what it means to be a man than any woman can ever do because a government has replaced all the value that a man used to bring, you know? Before the government did welfare, where they intentionally pushed the man out, the welfare of the family used to be the men in the family. They would, because, you know, men were the welfare, they were the ones, because they like to showcase this on television a lot. You know, the wife runs the house and all that. But that's the thing. The wife didn't run the house. The man gave her a certain level, a certain allowance, a certain amount of money that was set up to keep the household running. That's why when they play this stupid joke where, well, you know, the women ran the house and, you know, the man was just a worker. No, the man set up the budget for the house. I'm coming from work. Here you go, baby. Here's, here's this amount of money for the groceries, for this and that, for whatever you can handle. Here it is. Now, once the government did welfare, it removed the man's ability to be the main it's not just man being the main provider, it's being the main influence of the budget for the household. You know what I'm saying? Before No Fault Divorce, they didn't build so many. They used to have starter houses. Basically, it's a one floor house that the average starting family could afford. But, you know, after No Fault Divorce, where, you know, they, they, they removed the man's ability to absolutely lead his family. But let me get back. So they added welfare. Once they put welfare in where the government, and they, this is what a lot of uh, the white viewers that watch this channel need to understand. That, you know, they, there's a saying, you know, Tommy Sotomayor 
likes to say that the black neighborhood is the canary. You know, whatever happens in a black community will trickle down into every other community. So what they did in a black community, what the Democrats did, is that they would supply welfare to the household if they if the father was not present. So check this out, and I, I touch up on this a lot, but they would give money to the wife and children if the father's not in there. And this is the same government that's preaching we want a strong America, families, and all that BS. When the history shows they, the last thing they want is a stable family. So what welfare did, and this is why I say there's no such thing as an alpha male, is that the government stepped in. And since, since the government wasn't including men in that welfare program, they basically said, you, as long as you make us the man of the household, we'll help out. And this is why this is why I say there is no such thing as an alpha male there because the government is the true alpha. The government is the true alpha. You see, a lot of the whole alpha male thing comes from, you know, wolves. You know, what I mean, you have the alpha wolf and I, I forget the name of the, the female, the wolf mates with whatever. But you can't be an alpha male when the government is present and has a role that would be filled by men. You can't compete with the government. You know what I'm saying? You can't compete with the government. Check it out. The government will allow everything you as a man would not allow because it would not be, you know, stable to the family and the household. The government will help Oh, you know, we'll supply a woman with money, even if that's not their child. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's focus. Think of the government like a man. So the government will give her money, even though that's not his child. The government will let her sleep with as many men as she wants to. And the government will give her money and support you as a man cannot. This is why when they, you know, a lot of men in the manosphere talk about alpha male, you know, uh, alpha male strategies. I'm not calling them out or nothing. I'm just saying that's one of the channels they call alpha male. And, you know, a lot of channels talk about being an alpha male. The truth is you, all men, and, and this is the sad truth you need to understand is that all men, when compared to the government, are all beta or lesser males. The, you know, you can't, and, and the reason I'm saying you got to watch this video, you got to understand, is that, and, and this is going to remove a level of pressure that you try to live. Because a lot of times in this manosphere, a lot of men are telling you be an alpha male, be this and that. In actuality, there's no such thing. You as a man in a government where the, in a, in a society where the government plays the role of a man, you cannot be an alpha male. You know what I'm saying? What, 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 let, let, let's get back to nature. What male, how can a wolf be an alpha of their um, pack if there was a, a human being in the middle? If there was a human in the middle that's feeding providing for all the wolves feeding how how alpha is that wolf when his role has been replaced you as a man there is no such thing in a society where the government plays the role of a man you can be an alpha now if the government was cooperating with men you could still be an alpha because it, it would be cooperating with you based on certain standards for example if you fall on hard times, the government would not reward a family. And notice what they say. They're saying that a family is defined without the man there. We're going to help the family if you remove the man, the father, out of that picture. So in the eyes of the government, a family is when you, the man, are not present. That's why we're getting such a push for the single mothers and all that because the government does not recognize a family 
as being something where there's a father or a man involved. That That's what you got to understand. But let me get back. Like I said, the government plays a lot of roles that men used to play. Men were the welfare. Men were the child support. Men, 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 we, men were leading it all. But once the government gets in the middle of that, how can you as a man compete with what the government's offering. You know what I'm saying? So you, you can't be an alpha male. It's like you're you're in a, like I said, you, you got to look at it like you're in a zoo. Any society where they devalue the man and the government does not recognize you as a man, you're in a zoo. You're in a zoo where the government decides how you can eat and how, how far you can go, how much territory you can have, you're not an alpha male. An alpha male is a man who has absolute control of his environment and his role in this society. You, once the government got in between and said that your role no longer matters, because notice how they, they notice how, you know, there's a, there's a Geico commercial and this commercial says a lot where the guy is becoming more like his mom. And they said, you're just like your family. And it's only his mom in the picture. The government does not recognize you, the man, as something being in a family. The only, government only recognizes a family when you're not there. That's what the whole welfare state is all about. The government enacting its goal of men are the, the a, a family should not be defined by having a man in there. A family should be defined by having the government present. That's why you see this push for the single mother household because the government does not want you, a man, to play a role in the decisions and leading and setting standards in a family because the government beyond your sperm the government doesn't recognize anything you bring to the table because in the eyes of the government that has stepped into a boundary it should have never stepped in the population is falling everything the government should have not gotten involved but like i was saying there is no such thing as an alpha male in a society where the government plays the male role. There is no man alive right now. I'm talking about Bill Gates. I'm talking about um, Elon Musk. I'm talking about Jeff Bezos. I'm talking about Warren Buffett. I'm talking about, you know, the NFL owners. I'm talking about Mark Cuban. I'm, all these men I mentioned don't have 1% of the power that the government has. Bill Gates is worth billions. The government is worth trillions. And then, you know, and, and not in the singles, I'm talking hundreds of trillions. You know what I'm saying? That's what the government is worth. It's, it's influence. How can any man say they're an alpha male in front of the government? You're, there's no such thing as an alpha male. It, it can't exist in a society where the male role is being played by the government. So, so what does this mean for you? Well, you have to understand this relieves you of the pressure. You're, you're, you don't need to worry about being an alpha male. You need to worry about being confident in yourself, knowing and focusing on your existence and what doesn't threaten it, you know, taking care of yourself. That, that's what matters. This basically frees you up because a lot of those channels where they tell you how to be an alpha male and all that, it's all based on what they are fitting into society while ignoring the presence of the government as the true alpha. All you men trying to be an alpha male, you're a fictional alpha male. Because in a society where the government can play the role of a man, it is the true and one only alpha male. There is no such thing as an alpha male in a society where the government plays the role 
of a man. No such thing. So a lot of y'all, you need to stop pretending. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I am, I am alpha male. I'm strong. I can bench press 500 and the pounds. I drive the Ferrari. I am alpha male. No such thing. You're either a confident man who's confident in who he is, what he brings to the table, confident in his um, ideals, confident in what his perspective is, is of the world. That's all you can be. You can either be confident, successful in what you're doing. And I'm not saying successful, you drive a Ferrari and all this. No, you're successful in doing something that maintains your life and your existence. Because, you know, I'm going to make a video later on called how, how you can't, how they killed the American dream by making it mandatory for you to have big dreams. You know what I'm saying? All dreams are not equal, but all dreams are dreams, no matter their size. You know what I'm saying? I'll do that later. But like I was saying, there is no such thing as an alpha male in a society where the government can play the role of a man. Because how can you compete? with the government the government you know the government think about it the government like i said the government doesn't care if you you know if that woman is pregnant by multiple men you know what i mean the government will still provide the government will still try to help you wouldn't and you shouldn't you know what i'm saying you're you know you don't have a role where you're that powerful once the government intervenes between men and women it is the only one that can be an alpha there is no such thing as an alpha male not one man in this country could call himself an alpha male he's either confident or not really you either confident uh uh you know those what they call it introverts whatever you want to call it you could be those and you could be a beta or whatever. No man can honestly claim they're an alpha male when the government can play and is playing the role of a man. Simple as that. I hope this helped you out. This has been Hold the Truth Hostage, where if the truth was so important, we wouldn't negotiate with lies. And I want to thank everybody. We made it. I don't showcase my sub count. But we made it to 130, you know what I'm saying, 130 strong. And we, we about to do some big things, man. I got I got some ideas in the line that's going to, you know, really take the manosphere and really take logic back to, to the top of a man's priority. Thank you.